Okay, what I wanted to do here was explain Van Dyke's uh, recent innovation on a method that was based on Umar al Um and it's based on it's basically called the Solar Revolution Technique. Um, it's similar to some of the annual divisions, but instead it has a different layout. And what you first have to do, a lot of people uh, miss this. Uh, you think you can go right into the technique and you can't. What you first have to do is set up a solar return. So I'll take a, a return such as uh, one of these down here and uh, we'll set up a solar return for you know say uh, uh, she just had her birth date here so uh, uh, basically let's see if we want to look at what just happened so we take a look at the past which would be the one that happened this year uh, yesterday so we'll do a search from August 24th to 2013 so we set up this and we click OK it brings up the uh, return there and so what we have here is the solar return chart for Barbara Eden and her birthplace there. Um, so the next thing that we have to do, uh, now we're ready to take a look at uh, the solar revolution method. And uh, if we're just going to look at uh, directions, or basically uh, what are like a perfection, like kind of a graduated perfection uh, based on the whole year. So basically what you're looking at is uh, moving a pointer uh, 360 degrees for the whole year, which is roughly one degree per day um, for all the different planets. But you can start from any of these points here. And what you do is you go through the list, you pick one. I'm just going to do one for the ascendant here. And, uh, and you click and there they are. So the ascendant goes through the bounds and then encounters Jupiter, you'll see here. Now notice that when I click, it brings up auto-generated charts. This is the same uh, whether you're working in primary directions, Alfred Aria, or uh, in any one of these Time Lord techniques that you would see in the Hellenistic procedures here. Um, that, you know, you can generate other Time Lords to cross-reference and basically see what else is going on at the same time that uh, this is going on here. But what you basically want to do, there are two things that you could do here. You could direct, uh, I'm just going to bring back the uh, main wheel here, and you can you can either look at the return itself, or you could use uh, you know, there's uh, another option here, solar return to natal. So you take any solar return point and then find out when it goes to the natal. So in order to do that though, you have to first tell it which natal chart to use. And the way you do that is by pressing Control w so that you bring up the wheel. And we'll just uh, put on the inner wheel, that's this one, and then we'll put on the outer wheel this one, and then click view. So now uh, we have a natal wheel and then we have a solar return. I'm only showing five planets here. You can change that by right clicking and then go to a visibility theme and then we'll just minimize this for a moment so I can see a little better. And uh, say uh, I want to check visible planets. Let's take a uh, traditional well I'm going to just set up a particular here on the uh, by wheel. Let's go with the chart two planets. Notice only the five are visible. You can just go through here and double click and then uh, maybe I want to see the nodes transiting and then the prenatal nation or something like that. I'll leave that out. So you click save and then uh, in wheel 2 I'll just click save there and then we do this again just go to uh, Barbara Eden for the inner wheel and the outer wheel and now we'll show the uh, other planets as well quick view and now we got all these others in there 
So next, uh, let's say we want to do uh, directions, or basically do the annual revolution. So it'll return to NATO of the ascendant, and notice that it uh, comes right up. And so we have instead here uh, directions of uh, the planet from. The, let's put in uh, the ascendant since we are. Since we're looking at a bi-wheel here, so I'll just press F2. I don't think I quite got it there. Visibility theme. Now I can change it to... Uh, just go out of this window here. Okay. Now what we look for here is... So uh, I want to show what's... Let's show the ascendant as well, so that we know what we're looking at here. And the other wheel. And it looks safe since it's chart 2. And then we do, do this. So now we should see the ascendant. And we see that it's 4 Leo. She natally has one at 13, almost 14 Cancer. So we go back now to uh, solar revolution technique. We want solar return to natal. And what we're doing is taking the solar return ascendant and going through the bounds. So basically we're taking here, uh, it goes to ascendant encounters Jupiter. Uh, so about five days later. Uh, so, you know, this is how, how it works here. You can either have uh, just a solar return only or solar return to NATO, but keep in mind that the only way that this is going to work, this technique, is if you first uh, set up in the utilities a derivative chart, uh, you know, one of the solar return options here. So, that's pretty much it. Um, the rest of the technique, uh, Ben Dykes knows more about. But keep in mind, this is a variation on Umar Al-Tabari that basically uses oblique ascensions. Uh, Umar Al-Tabari just uh, used uh, a degree per day, basically. So there are slight variations, and they do vary, make a, a difference based on latitude. So anyway, thanks.